Maple Sun E, also known as Ayres Tea Piece was invented by Philip Ayre in 1937. This consists of a light metal tube 1 cm in diameter, 5 cm in length with a side arm. It consists of three parts, inlet, outlet and side tube. Fresh gas enters the system through the side arm, the expired gas is vented through the outlet into the atmosphere and the patient breaths in through the other end of the inlet. Maple Sun E system is derived from Air's T piece configuration by adding tubing to the expiratory part of the circuit that acts as a fresh gas reservoir during inspiration. Its capacity should be more than the expected tidal volume. It was mainly used in neonates and infants in whom the expiratory valve would produce significant resistance. However, its use has decreased in anesthesia because it is difficult to scavenge excess gases and high fresh gas flows, that is, two to three times minute ventilation. For spontaneous ventilation, the expiratory limb is open to the atmosphere. Controlled ventilation can be performed by intermittently occluding the expiratory limb and allowing the fresh gas to inflate the lungs. Since the peak inspiratory flow rates are higher than fresh gas flow, gases are drawn from the reservoir limb during the inspiration. If the reservoir limb capacity is less than the tidal volume of the patient, then air dilution occur by dragging in the atmospheric air. In such case, the semi-closed system of Mapleson E becomes semi-open system. Breathing system classification was discussed earlier. During expiration, both exhaled and fresh gas pass into the reservoir limb and then to the atmosphere. During end expiratory pause, fresh gas continues to fill the reservoir tube and flushes out exhaled gases. The fresh gas collected in the reservoir limb is then inspired on next inspiration. If the reservoir limb capacity is more than the tidal volume of the patient and fresh gas flow is less, rebreathing can occur. There are two important factors to consider while using this circuit. The first one is that the diameter of the reservoir must be sufficient enough to have the lowest possible resistance. Second, volume of the reservoir limb or tube should not be less than the patient's tidal volume. If the reservoir volume is equal to tidal volume, the fresh gas flow should be equal to 2.5 times minute ventilation to prevent air dilution. If reservoir volume is less than tidal volume, the fresh gas flow has to be increased further otherwise air dilution can occur. If reservoir volume is zero or there is no expiratory limb, the fresh gas flow should be at least equal to the patient's peak inspiratory flow rate to prevent air dilution. The working analysis of Mapleson E during controlled ventilation is the same as during spontaneous breathing. It is done by intermittently occluding the reservoir limb by thumb which allows us to have control over rebreathing and air dilution. During inspiration, as the expiratory or reservoir tube is occluded by the thumb, the pressure in the system rises due to the fresh gas flow. This pressure forces the gas into the patient's lung. During expiration, the occlusion is released whereby the expired gas from the patient as well as the fresh gas fills the reservoir tube and are vented out. During the expiratory pause, the fresh gas continues to fill the reservoir tube which is inspired during the next respiratory cycle. Maple Sun E provides a low resistance flow during controlled breathing owing to the large reservoir tube along with the absence of the APL or expiratory tube. The system also has low dead space as the fresh gas inlet is located near the patient end. However there is significant risk of barotrauma and since there is no reservoir bag the pressure reduction effect is not there. The operator doesn't feel the bag during ventilation. It is also difficult to scavenge the waste gas.